Okay, so we can go ahead and get started. And I'd like to welcome everyone to today's um, Renal Pathology um, Society GlomCon series on Onconephrology um, given by Dr. Cami Hendrickson. Um, today, if you have um, questions throughout the talk, please feel free to enter it within the chat and we'll get to all of those um, after um, the talk is over. So Dr. Cami Hendrickson is an Associate Professor of Pathology at the University of Chicago, where she is also the Pathology Residency Program Director and a course director in the medical school. Along with Dr. Tony Chang, she covers the largest renal biopsy service in Chicago. She has authored numerous peer-reviewed articles and book chapters with an emphasis on topics in onconephrology. She serves on the national um, and international committees with a focus on education in nephrology and nephropathology. And so with that, I hand it over to you. Thank you. <clears throat> well, welcome everyone. Uh, good morning or afternoon or evening or middle of the night, depending on where you are in the world. Uh, let me share my screen. Uh, it truly is an honor to be uh, a part of this, and thank you, Maylin, for having me. You and Ben have been doing a great job of putting this seminar uh, series together, and uh, we've all really enjoyed uh, the content and the speakers uh, this year, and it really is an honor to be introduced by one of our, my previous superstar fellows who's doing great things in the field of renal pathology, so uh, that makes this whole thing very special. Um, so, uh, yeah, so it's uh, my pleasure to discuss this topic. Um, I, it's something that I've been interested in since um, I was a medical student and approached Tony Chang about project ideas uh, in renal pathology. And so our group has focused on a number of different topics in onconephrology over the years before it even was established as a field. Uh, and when we, that term actually came about, we're like, oh, this is the, the word for what it is that we focus on. So. Um, so, you know, it's a huge, obviously, onconephrology encompasses a, a huge uh, number of diseases. So we're talking about topics like, uh, you know, nephrotoxicity from anti-cancer therapy. Uh, we think about perineoplastic kidney diseases. We think about uh, tumor or treatment-related microangiopathies or glomerulonephritides. Um, all of the various kidney injuries that can be associated with, you know, dysproteinemia um, and you know, diseases after hematopoietic stem cell transplant. So this is a huge sort of family of diseases. So uh, to do an update, I just kind of, you know, to me, it's easier to learn and retain information when you're thinking about it in the context of a particular case. So I just picked a few interesting cases and uh, we'll have, uh, you know, I'll, I'll present the case and then have a little discussion about some of the topics that that case uh, kind of brought up. Uh, so hopefully you'll find these uh, interesting as well. Uh, so I have no disclosures. I did want to mention uh, briefly uh, there, uh, in case you were not aware that these things exist there it, and you're interested in these topics, um, the American Society of Onconephrology is a relatively young uh, organization and I encourage you to join it if you are not a member already. Uh, it's a great group of you know, nephrologists, oncologists, pathologists, and trainees uh, coming together to uh, you know, collaborate and share ideas about these topics. And just an FYI, again, in case you're not aware of, um, of this, there is an onconephrology symposium planned at the end of September in Boston. So if you are able to attend, I encourage you to uh, sign up for that as well. Uh, I'm really looking forward to going to it and meeting more people uh, in, the, you know, in this field uh, and sort of making some of these connections and, and learning. So uh, just FYI to get that on your radar in case you were not aware that those exist. All right, so here's sort of the general outline of topics that I'm going to kind of hit on today. We'll talk about a couple of cases of perineoplastic glomerular diseases and a couple of cases of nephrotoxicity of anti-cancer therapy. And I think that'll probably get us through the, the 45 minutes that I've been uh, given to talk. Um, and at maybe at a different time, we can talk about kidney diseases and kidney cancer patients. I think the first two topics are probably going to take up the whole time. And I First of all, I want to keep this kind of fun and easy since it's a Sunday morning or, you know, weekend, wherever you are. Um, and I want everyone to be able to, you know, leave and go about their days in a timely fashion. So I'll try to keep things uh, kind of brief and light. All right. So we'll start with perineoplastic glomerular diseases. 
So the first case here is a 64 year old man um, and his past history includes hypertension and morbid obesity. And so 10 years prior to this biopsy, he had been diagnosed with CLL after uh, you know, routine labs for him revealed a lymphocytosis. And at that time, when they were working him up for this initial diagnosis of CLL, they noted that he had nephrotic range proteinuria uh, over five grams.